Also new at five, transparency, accountability, and a safer environment for the Catholic faithful. The Texas Catholic Diocese announcing they will release the names of all clergy credibly accused of sexual abuse. As our Bill Barajas explains, it's part of an ongoing effort to provide healing and promote trust in the church. I'm led by the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. It is a church that will deal justly with his painful past. The Archbishop fought back tears, expressing anger at those who have abused their power and, in his words, embarrassed the church. I ask the faithful to pray for the victims of clergy sexual abuse of minors, to pray for their priests and bishops. The 15 Catholic dioceses in Texas and the ordinariate of the chair of St. Peter made the decision on September 30th to release the names of the clergy who have been credibly accused. Now is the time to express uh, transparency. With 8.5 million Catholics and more than 1,300 Catholic parishes in Texas, compiling a list won't be easy. It's why the Archbishop has formed the Lay Commission on Clergy Sexual Abuse of Minors in the Archdiocese of San Antonio. He has also ordered a review of the current procedures in place to address allegations of sexual abuse. The commission is formed by lay people who, uh, by their expertise and, ex and experience in life, and especially in the public arena, um, they are volunteering to help to edit the files, also to, to oversee the process. The Archdiocese isn't sure how many cases and allegations there will be in the city, especially with cases dating back to 1940. Some of the clergy have already died, the ones who must be in retirement. And the plan right now is to release that list by January 31st, 2019. The Archbishop also asking any victim who has not come forward to do so, saying the church is once again a safe place. Live in downtown, Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News.